Something massive is unfolding in the skies, and no one saw it coming. While Boeing scrambles to fix a spiraling mess of delays, failed certifications, and global trust issues, Airbus has just detonated what aviation insiders are calling fatal blow to America's aerospace giant. It's called the Airbus A390, and it's not just another plane, it's a direct assault on the very core of Boeing's long-haul empire. We're talking about an aircraft designed to eclipse the 787 Dreamliner, built to outclass the 777X, and engineered with one objective in mind, total market dominance. Make no mistake, this isn't a wild concept or a Photoshop fantasy. Documents, patents, insider leaks, it's real. And if Airbus delivers, this plane will change everything. Because here's the truth, the industry doesn't want to say out loud, Boeing is vulnerable. The 737 MAX crisis shattered trust. The 777X is half a decade behind schedule. The MAX 7 and MAX 10 still floating in FAA purgatory. Meanwhile, Airbus has quietly been loading the gun and now they've pulled the trigger. Before we move further, hit like, smash subscribe and stay locked in. To understand the A390's shockwave, you have to understand Airbus's last big gamble and its catastrophic collapse. The A380, a flying fortress, a double-decker colossus. It promised to redefine air travel. But instead, it nearly sank Airbus itself. Only 144 airports worldwide could handle its sheer size. It needed custom gates, reworked runways, and perfect conditions. And when fuel prices surged and consumer habits changed, the A380 became a stranded whale. Passengers loved it. Airlines hated it. Maintenance was a nightmare. Operational costs bled carriers dry. And by 2019, Airbus had seen enough. They killed the program and buried the giant. But they didn't walk away empty-handed. They walked away with lessons, hard lessons, and every single one of them has been engineered into the A390's design. Because while Airbus was licking its wounds, Boeing was building its empire. The 787 Dreamliner became the go-to long-haul workhorse. The 777X was hyped as the future of intercontinental travel. And Airbus? They had the A350, impressive but lonely. With no second wide body to support it, Airbus lost serious ground. Airlines wanted flexibility. Boeing gave it to them. Airbus didn't, until now. The A390 isn't just a response, it's a calculated strike. A new flagship, a new fleet backbone, a plane that doesn't just compete, it erases the competition. This is Airbus reclaiming territory with a jet specifically designed to exploit every single one of Boeing's weaknesses. Now, let's kill the biggest myth before it spreads. The A390 is not going to be a triple-decker flying hotel. Early concept rumors hinted at a three-deck configuration. Social media went wild. Speculative renders showed elevators, lounges, sky domes. It was exciting. It was futuristic. It was also completely unrealistic. Aerodynamicists sounded the alarm instantly. More decks mean more weight, more engines, more drag, more fuel. It's the A380 all over again, but worse. The laws of physics don't bend for marketing buzz, so Airbus made it clear. The A390 will be a wide-body, single-deck aircraft, streamlined, efficient, and engineered for global compatibility. Not a gimmick, a weapon. Because this time, they're not building a spectacle. They're building a market killer, and the industry laughed until the numbers started leaking. They said a plane like this couldn't exist anymore, that the era of big jets was over, that fuel efficiency, long-haul flexibility, and airport compatibility were trade-offs, not checkboxes you could tick all at once. But Airbus didn't just tick them, they shattered them. The numbers coming out of Toulouse are already sending shockwaves through the industry. Leaked capacity specs show seating for up to 470 passengers. That's more than anything Boeing has in the pipeline. More than the 777X, more than the current A350-1000, and nearly touching the outdated A380 without any of its baggage. But this isn't just about size, it's about reach. The A390 is projected to fly 11,580 miles non-stop, 
putting routes like New York to Sydney, London to Auckland, and Singapore to Sao Paulo well within striking range, no stopovers, no refueling. This isn't just ultra-long haul, it's global domination. Suddenly, entire markets that once depended on hub-based routing can flip to direct. Less time, less fuel, more profit. Airlines have been dreaming about this model for decades, but no one could make it viable. Until now. And here's the part that's throwing Boeing executives into full-blown crisis mode. This giant of a plane won't need a giant of an airport. That's right. Unlike the A380, which could barely squeeze into the world's top 150 airports and needed custom-built gates, the A390 is being designed with standard wide-body compatibility in mind. Think 777, think A350. That size footprint. Which means it fits. Everywhere. No more multi-million dollar retrofits. No special tarmac clearance. No new gates. Just fly it in, load it up, and lift off. That's not just convenience. That's flexibility at scale. And that's exactly what global carriers crave right now. After years of pandemic losses, volatile fuel prices, and demand swings, airlines aren't looking for flying cathedrals. They want scalable, efficient, high-capacity aircraft that slot seamlessly into existing infrastructure. The A390 does exactly that. But how? Because Airbus isn't just thinking bigger, they're thinking smarter. At the heart of this breakthrough is a deal that's been quietly brewing behind closed doors. A partnership with Rolls-Royce, one that could redefine propulsion altogether. Sources say the A390 will be powered by Ultrafan technology, Rolls-Royce's next-generation engine platform that promises up to 25% greater fuel efficiency than any engine currently flying. Let that sink in, 25% less fuel burned per mile. On an aircraft that can fly farther than anything in its class and carry more passengers doing it. It's a leap so big that aviation insiders are already calling it the most important commercial engine development since the GE90. And this isn't some untested lab prototype. Rolls-Royce has been refining the Ultrafan for nearly a decade, building off the success of the Trent XWB, which already powers the A350. But Airbus isn't stopping there. They're leaving the door wide open to something even more disruptive, hydrogen electric hybrid propulsion. Yes, you heard that right. While Boeing fumbles with compliance issues and production audits, Airbus is quietly exploring how to bring its zero-e hydrogen technology into the A390 platform. Not by 2050, not as a PR stunt, but as a real-world scalable option for transcontinental flights within this decade. It's bold, it's risky, it's exactly what the market needs. And if they pull it off, the A390 won't just outperform Boeing, it'll obsolete them. Because propulsion isn't the only area where Airbus is flipping the script. This aircraft is being built with materials that make even the 787 look heavy. Where Boeing uses about 50% composite materials in the Dreamliner and Airbus managed 53% in the A350, the A390 is rumored to go even further. We're talking full-body carbon fiber reinforced polymer construction, wing spars, fuselage skins, bulkheads, even cargo doors. Every gram shaved off means more range, less fuel, lower emissions, and a longer lifespan with fewer maintenance cycles. That's not evolution. That's aviation re-engineered. And the impact is already rippling through the supply chain. Composite manufacturers in Germany and Spain are ramping up pre-orders. Major airlines are reviewing route maps. And quietly, very quietly, analysts are beginning to revise long-term Boeing forecasts downward. Because they know something the public hasn't fully grasped yet, the A390 isn't a concept. It's not a render. It's not a dream. It's a checkmate. And yet, we've barely scratched the surface. Because everything you've heard so far about the capacity, the airport compatibility, the ultra-fan power, the composite revolution, that's just the opening act. The most advanced systems, the most jaw-dropping innovations, and the most brutal blow to Boeing's dominance are still ahead. Because the real secret isn't in the cabin, it's in the wings. Hidden beneath the smooth curvature of the A390's frame 
is a technology so advanced, it doesn't just reshape airflow, it rewrites the rules of flight itself. Just when the world thought Airbus had played all its cards, they flipped the table. Because deep inside the A390's wings lies the kind of tech that makes even space engineers take notes. This isn't just a new shape or material. This is an adaptive, morphing wing system, capable of adjusting its structure in real time based on wind, speed and turbulence. Think bird-like aerodynamics blended with fighter jet responsiveness, all operating autonomously mid-flight. Gust sensors placed across the wing constantly feed data to an AI-driven control system. As conditions change, altitude, airflow, even temperature, the wing literally shifts its form, reshaping its curvature and flaps to minimize drag and maximize lift. The result? Not just smoother flights, not just higher fuel savings. This is dynamic efficiency, something aviation has dreamed about but never delivered at scale. Until now. And this isn't a prototype anymore. Airbus has already conducted successful wind tunnel tests with these active wing surfaces. The A390 will be the first commercial jet to debut this tech in a full production model. Every mile it flies, it gets smarter. Every gust of wind, every shift in pressure, every turn in the jet stream. It learns, it adapts, and it trims, waist down to a science. But innovation doesn't stop at the wing. Step inside the A390 and the future reveals itself in every detail. The fuselage is wider, but not just for passenger count, it's optimized for comfort. We're talking wider seats in economy, true flatbeds in business, and modular cabins that can be reconfigured in hours depending on route or demand. Airlines no longer have to lock themselves into rigid seating maps for years. Need more premium? Swap modules. Flying a leisure-heavy route next week? Snap in extra economy, this is plug-and-play aviation. And then there's the atmosphere itself. The A390 is being equipped with an advanced environmental system that maintains lower cabin altitude, higher humidity, and purified airflow, creating a pressurization profile that feels closer to standing on the ground than soaring above 35,000 feet. Long-haul jet lag? Eased? Respiratory fatigue? Reduced. Even lighting has evolved. Airbus is rolling out a full-spectrum LED system that dynamically shifts color temperature to mirror the sun's natural circadian rhythm. No more harsh blue wash at 3 a.m. Passengers get gentle sunrise tones, subtle sunset hues, and time transitions that cue the body to sleep or wake naturally. This isn't just nice to have luxury, it's a strategic advantage. Because for international carriers, comfort equals loyalty, and loyalty equals profit. And while it sounds like all this would cost a fortune, Airbus has somehow pulled off the unthinkable. They've made the A390 cheaper than the 77X. Estimated base list price, $400 million. Boeing's 777X, $442.2 million and rising with zero deliveries so far and five years of schedule slippage. And let's not forget, Airlines rarely pay list. With launch deals, bulk orders, and infrastructure incentives, the actual price for early A390 buyers could undercut Boeing by tens of millions per unit. But that's just the entry cost. The real financial knockout comes from the operational savings. Thanks to composite weight reduction, morphing wings, and next-gen engines, Airbus claims the A390 will consume 25% less fuel per seat mile compared to existing wide bodies. Multiply that by thousands of flights a year and you're talking about hundreds of millions in savings per airline per fleet. Then there's pilot training. Since the A390 will share cockpit architecture and software logic with the A350, transition training time drops dramatically. No need to retrain entire crews from scratch. No need for expensive simulator hours. It's plug and play for pilots too. And in an industry where training bottlenecks are causing flight cancellations and delays, that efficiency could become a deciding factor in global fleet decisions. Now let's talk fallout. While Airbus is stacking orders and preparing production lines, Boeing is stuck in a bureaucratic chokehold. The 777X is so delayed 
that some customers are retrofitting ancient 777-300ERs just to avoid waiting. Emirates is modifying cabin interiors on planes they plan to retire years ago. United and Southwest are still waiting for FAA certification on the MAX 7 and MAX 10 aircraft they ordered half a decade ago. Meanwhile, Boeing's factories are under scrutiny, whistleblowers, safety audits, congressional hearings. Their own engineers have testified that planes were being rushed through assembly without proper inspection. Even the FAA has issued damning reports demanding cultural reform. While Boeing tries to patch the past, Airbus is engineering the future, and it shows. Airlines are already shifting interest. Leasing companies are re-evaluating asset depreciation models. Industry conferences are no longer asking if the A390 will change the game. They're asking how fast Boeing can catch up, if ever. Because what's happening now is bigger than just a new aircraft. It's a turning point in the global aerospace race. Airbus isn't just making a better plane. They're rewriting the rules of what a long-haul airliner can be. Modular, adaptive, sustainable and profitable all at once. And while Boeing scrambles to fix a collapsing foundation, Airbus is already halfway to the stratosphere. If you learned something they didn't want you to know, hit like, drop a comment and subscribe for more untold truths before they disappear.